Hi, I'm Lisa Marie, and welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. And all of my subscribers, you are the best. Let's get started. Ornament number one. For the first ornament, I saw this cute picture on Pinterest and I had to make it. So you take a little mini red solo cup and then you take some beads. They also have done it with like colored sprinkles, but I didn't have any of those. And I'm using my Arteza paint markers and I am just painting. I decided to do nine of each color that I picked and I just picked the really bright, vibrant color. So there's actually seven different colors and I'm not going to bore you with watching me paint them all, but now they're all done and I'm putting them into my clear bulb that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna hot glue that opening of the bulb. I already took off the little metal hanging piece. I'm gonna hot glue that directly to my little red Solo cup. And it already looks like a little gumball machine, doesn't it? And I'm gonna take a very thin red and white ribbon to make a little hanger. I'm just gonna hot glue that to the top. And now I need a little can opener, uh, the lifty thing like you see on a soda can or a soup can. And so I've got one of those and I just got some tin snips. Thank you, Kristen K for the recommendation. And I'm going to cut off all the rough edges, cut off the little flippy thing, and I'm gonna straighten it out now and hot glue it directly on the front of the little red cup. And it looks like the opening where the gumballs come out. And it is so cute and so easy and literally this didn't even cost me a dollar, all things told. Tell me what you think. I just love it. It's adorable. I'd love for you to join me on my channel by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you'll always know when I have a new video. I do all kinds of DIYs, gardening in the summer. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. That helps my channel so much and I do appreciate it. Ornament number two. For the next ornaments, I got these little teeny, I don't know what they're called, little mini plates kind of from the Dollar Tree. It came with like 10 in a container, so 10 for a dollar. And I had all these little mini gift bags I had bought that also came together. And what I did is I just took off the little tags you know, where you'd write to and from. And then I'm gonna use this tight bond instead of Mod Podge because I wanted to try it. I know I've done it before and it does dry clear. So I thought, what the heck, let's just try it. Didn't cost as much, you know, overall as the Mod Podge did. I ordered it on Amazon. So I'm attaching those to the little cards that I cut out to the fronts and insides of those little plates. Now, I'm not gonna show you all of these ornaments individually. Some of them I was just experimenting with different techniques like I hot glued a ribbon around, I did some tissue paper decoupage on one, added some pine cones on another and I ended up going back to this pine cone one and I added a bunch of pine cones, some little sparkly balls and red balls and I made snow. Now I'm putting some nautical rope around. I mean I was just kind of experimenting so I'm not going to bore you with all of that. I think these would be fun to do with kids and you'll see here is shortly what they kind of look like at this point. I did go back and distress them and then I, like I said I added tons more to that pine cone one. I, I love it now. The other ones I'm not as happy with so let's just forget those but this one I really like. What do you think? I just wanted to let everyone know that I am on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie and I can't wait to see you over there. Ornaments number three and four. The next two ornaments, I used those little footballs. Remember that sign in the fall with the pumpkins and the footballs from Dollar Tree? Well, I saved those and I sanded off all the glitter and now I'm just using my plaster colored Waverly chalk paint to cover the front and the sides. And once that dries, I'm going to Mod Podge some really cute plaid tissue paper over the top. And the reason I wanted to paint them first is I wanted the white to be underneath so the white in the tissue paper would stand out. Otherwise, sometimes it comes out looking brownish. And so this, you can kind of see around the edges the difference and I just like the way it looks better. So I'm using, on this one I am using Mod Podge and then I'm using some Saran Wrap and the Brayer Tools right there on the right, the black one, to make sure I don't have that many wrinkles or bubbles. And I did get a few wrinkles, but I'm okay with it because I'm gonna be distressing this. So I don't mind if it looks a little older. So now I'm just waiting for the Mod Podge to dry and when it does, I'm gonna use my little sanding sponge and I'm just gonna very carefully sand off the edges of the tissue paper and it just comes off so nice. And now it's time to decorate these little surfaces that I've created and I've got this little red truck and a 
pamper from Dollar Tree and then these little baby bottle brush Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. On the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hot glue the little camper and the truck on to the front of the ornament towards the bottom. And I just think they are adorable. And then I'm going to add a Christmas tree to the back. There's a plasticky one in there, but it looks so fake. So I added a little bottle brush one and I just used wire cutters to take off the little stand. And then I'm going to get some jute twine and I'm going to hot glue the start of it to the back. And I'm going to wrap all around just randomly crisscross and glue it on the back whenever I can to keep it nice and taut and in the places where I actually want it. So it looks, you know, it is random, but I want it to look kind of nice anyway. I'm going to use that same red and white ribbon and make a little hanger for it and just hot glue it on the back. Put a lot of hot glue. And then I'm going to cut a little piece of a ribbon and put that over where the hot glue was. And that one's done, except for I will come back and distress it. For the second one, I found that on this little gift bag, there was a sign that says Merry Christmas and it had little pieces of foam underneath to kind of raise it up. So I'm going to use that and leave the foam on there, put hot glue on each of those little pieces, and then put it right on the front of the ornament. And I just think it looks so cute and festive and then the bag handles are this red rope so I cut off the little metal ends and I just hot glued this around the whole entire ornament and I just think it's a nice trim and it kind of finishes it off now I am going to come back and I'm going to distress this one too and there I just made another hanger just the same as the other one now I'm going to take some burnt umber from Apple Barrel Paint and I'm just going to use it dry brush where I just put a little bit on my brush, wipe most of it off, and then paint it over the top. And what I'm doing is trying to make it a little older and dirty and worn. And I'm also going to do it to the truck and the camper. Like in the places where you would maybe see that or if it's driving out in the wet muddy snow and stuff, you know, just to make it look a little bit older. And I, I really do like that effect and my Christmas tree is very rustic so this kind of works. And here they are, and I really love the way they turned out. You'll have to tell me what you think. I hope you guys like them. I just, I love it so much. It looks so cute, and it's just kind of fun and festive, but at the same time, it's got that rustic feel. And last but not least, ornament number five. And this last one is another Pinterest item that I found, again using the little red Solo cup. And I used a piece of washi tape that's black and sparkly and I put it around and then I made a little gold belt buckle and I used some of my um, white and gold Arteza paint markers and I painted on the little gold buttons and then I added what would be like the fur around the bottom and the top and this is basically like a little Santa jacket. And so I put a hole in the top. And I just used my hot glue gun to do that, by the way. And I put some twine through, tied a knot, pulled it up. And then just for, you know, a little extra color, I added a little piece of buffalo check ribbon, just kind of hot glued it around the top. And that's it. That is how easy this one is to do. You could make a garland out of this. You could put little lights inside. So, so cute and easy and so inexpensive to make. I think this would be a great activity for kids. I mean, basically the whole family can participate. It would be so much fun and it would be easy enough. And look how cute it turns out. Oh my gosh, can you picture a whole garland of that? And here is a last look at all of them on my tree. I just kind of bunched them together for the picture. They aren't really gonna be like that. And there they are. And they're just so cute. They were all easy, all affordable. Really did not break the bank at all. I think it would be a great thing to do you know, in your home. Let me know what you think and I really hope that you love it too. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and definitely give this video a like and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, you are a blessing.